All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Wahar Chakwadash, which Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and the Rechakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And I want to get into a lesson that's based on sacrifices. Okay. And uh, what inspired this lesson was a statement that I made yesterday uh, during our uh, live stream. And I made a, a statement on how the... Uh, the righteous, okay, their sacrifices consist of, um, you know, having charity, you know, showing brotherly love, uh, 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 repentance, you know, being humble, meek, you know, having a, a, a contrite spirit, all right, so on and so forth. You know, that's the uh, the sacrifices. That we're putting up to the altar. All right. And we're praying that these things, you know, will be accepted by Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Okay. And I also mentioned how the wicked of our people, what they're offering is, uh, you know, murder, adultery, envy, hate, all right, theft, you know, so on and so forth. That's what they're, you know, bringing to the table, okay? And with that being said, you know, they're going to uh, be destroyed, okay? They're not going to like, you know, the results of, uh, of these things, okay? And it made me think, you know, about, you know, what I'm offering. And I'll say this, you know, um, we can never go far enough. And let me uh, get that scripture real quick. Uh, in Sirach, the uh, 43rd chapter, um, we'll never be able uh, to go far uh, enough for Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, okay? But hey, we, we got to try our best. You know, we really got to try and show the Lord that we're fighting and that we're fighting, you know, uh, for righteousness and for Him, you see? But let me get this. This is uh, Sirach 43 and 30, and it reads, when you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can, for even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for you can never go far enough. You see, we can never do uh, enough. There's always room for improvement. There's always, you know, uh, more work to be done. All right. But I'll say this. Um, you know, we, we, we really got to, uh, be mindful, all right, uh, of what we're sacrificing, all right, you know, and I'll say this, you know, it's a balance of things, you don't want to, um, be over-righteous and destroy yourself, okay, hey, but you, you don't want to be over, uh, overly wicked as the scriptures talk about in Ecclesiastes, and it also mentions that in the uh, the book of uh, Second Ezra, it says what? Don't let your sins weigh you down. All right, but it also talks about you know uh, uh, um, you know uh, uh, I forgot how it's exactly worded, but you know you know uh, you know don't don't be wicked. All right, you know as the scripture saying Sirach, hey, we need to offend less. Okay, that that that's you know. Something that we're trying to uh, to do right now, because the things that we uh, um, have done in the past, all right, you know, before we came into this truth, and I'll also say this: even the things that we've done, dirt, you know, uh, while we've been in the truth, you know, uh, are um, offensive, you know, to the Lord. All right, so we got to try to be. Um, you know, as perfect as we can be to the best of our ability. Now, we'll never uh, 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 get complete, you know, perfection on this side. You know, we have to wait until the Lord changes us 
Hey, but um, but as the scriptures say in the Gospels, be perfect, all right, as the Lord is. You know, roughly paraphrasing it. And hey, we got to be holy since the, the, the Lord's holy, all right? But um, going back to um, these sacrifices, okay? And like I said, you know, you know everyone's going to get their reward. And a lot of people aren't going to like their, um, their outcome, you know, in that day. And we're praying and hoping that we um, receive mercy and that we partake. Okay, in the um, uh, 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 you know the righteous reward. You see, but let me get this. This is Revelation chapter twenty-two, verse eleven, and it reads, "He that is unjust, let him be unjust still; and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still; and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still; and he that is holy, let him be holy still." All right, which that proves that you know the wicked of our people. Are always going to be wicked. They're always going to be filthy. Okay. And it also shows that the righteous. Hey. They're, they're, they've always been around. They've always been doing. You know. Godly things. Holy things. Okay. And like I said. We're just hoping to be a part. Of that. You know. That one third. Okay. The elect. Let me keep reading. And behold. I come quickly. And my reward is with me. To give Every man according as his work shall be. And you see, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is coming quickly. You know? And look, we don't want to be that, 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 that slothful, that lazy, that wicked servant. Okay? We want to show uh, uh, we want to show Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that we you know, took his word serious. And that we're trying to do what he commanded us to, uh, to do. All right, and like I said, you know, we're, 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 we're you know, we're, we're trying to offer up what, you know, a, 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 a charity, brotherly love, presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice. You know, changing, becoming that new man, that new creature. All right, being humble, meek. You know, ha having a broken heart, a contrite spirit. That's what we're, you know, trying to offer up to the Lord. We're not trying to be proud, arrogant, you know, uh, slothful, evil. You know, we're not trying to offer up these things, you know, basically things contrary to the Lord. Okay? Because you got to remember, according to a... Uh, This uh, Isaiah, uh, this scripture here in Isaiah 19 and 19, it says what? In that day shall there be an altar to the Lord Yahweh in the midst of the land of Egypt, and a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord. Okay? And that altar is not um, a physical thing. Okay? It's, it's spiritual. You know, what we're doing right now, okay, is, is um, our, our spiritual acts. Okay? Cause look, we we can't sit here and go, you know, go uh, to to you know to somebody's basement or you know go to the woods, you know, build an altar, and then do a whole, a whole animal sacrifice. No, that that's not what we're doing. Okay, you know, first off, you know, that in this you know system, you know, this legal system that we're in, a lot of that stuff can actually get us put in jail. Okay, you know, we can get you know, get hit with fines. You know, you know, we're gonna get some jail uh, uh, time. You know, uh, uh, you know, what, what, whatever it is, you know, be on probation. See. And anyways, even if we were able to do these things, right? It's not a, a necessity, and the reason why is because Yahweh Shai was that ultimate sacrifice for us. You know. You know, that's why he um, is uh, considered what? You know, the lamb. Okay? 
So he 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 was that ultimate sacrifice. So we, we can um return to the heavenly Father Yahweh. All right, you see. But during this grace period, we still have to offer up what some type of righteous sacrifice. And and like I said, now uh, these sacrifices now are spiritual. And let me get that in um the uh, the book of uh. Um, Sirach 35. Let me get this now. This is a Sirach 35. And I'm going to start at uh, verse uh, 1. He that keepeth the law bringeth offerings enough. Okay, see? If you keep the law, you bring in an offering right there. Okay? And that shows that you're obedient. And look... As the scriptures say, hey, the Lord would rather have um, obedience than sacrifice. That's in the uh, the book of uh, 1 Samuel, I believe. And you got to remember, a sacrifice wouldn't really be needed, okay, if you were following the laws. Okay, now I'll say this. You know, you got to understand we'll never keep them perfectly, all right? You know, but we got to try to the best of our ability, you know, hey, 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 keep your beard, you know, uh, um, eat lawful foods, okay, hey, follow the order that's set up, you know, there, there's so many things, those are just a few that are on my mind, all right, but there's so many other scriptures, you know, don't commit adultery, things like that. Okay? These are things that you can keep. You see? Let's keep reading. It says, He that taketh heed to the commandment offereth a peace offering. He that requiteth a good turn offereth fine flour. And he that giveth alms sacrificeth praise. To depart from wickedness is a thing pleasing to the Lord. And to forsake unrighteousness is a propitiation. Thou shall not appear empty before the Lord. See, you got to um, have some type of offering. Okay, you, you can't be empty handed. You know, the Lord requires a sacrifice. He requires you to lose something. Okay. Something that you're willing to give up. And you see, what he told us is that we have to what? Make our one Make our bodies a living sacrifice. Let's get that. That's a heavy um, a scripture. I think that's in the book of Romans 12. Yep. Let's get this. This is Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Okay? You have to present your body as a living sacrifice. That's why we go out there on the highways and byways and teach. Whether it be in season or out of season, okay? You know, we don't care. And we put ourselves in danger. Hey, the scriptures talk about how uh, the men of the Lord, you know, um, hazard their lives, okay? You know, we put ourselves, you know, in the forefront and, and, and we're in danger. Look, people, uh, 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 hey, they, they, they want to, uh, uh, you know, shoot us. They want to fight us. You know, cops want to arrest us. You know, definitely these uh, top level elites that they want to um, they they want to have their you know you know uh, 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 you know what do they call the you know secret service uh, services you know their 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 top you know military you know assassins whatever you want to call them their mercenaries they, they they really want to use them and kill us but see the Lord. He's holding them back. Lord, the Lord's saying, no, I'm not going to allow you to do these things, you know. But I'm just trying to make a point that, you know, you know, we're, we're, we're public enemy number one, okay. All right, from Esau, Edom, to these heathens, to the two-thirds of, uh, two of our own people, you know. Hey, but the Lord, he, he said, what? Present your bodies as a living sacrifice. This is required of us. You know, and it says what? Holy, meaning being separate. Okay, that means you have to have a completely different conduct 
from the rest of this world. You can't do the same things that these people do out here. Okay, you can't be an ad- adulterer, an idolater. Can't be a drug user, a drug dealer. You know? Hey, 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 you can't be a pimp. You can't be a, 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 a whore. You know what I'm saying? These things are against the scriptures. And those are a few things, you know, that comes to mind. Because the scriptures talk about, you know, being a whoremonger. All right, which that's basically a pimp. All right? You know, you, you can't be a whore. If you're, if you're a woman, you can't be a whore. When I, when I, I'll say this. When I say that, and I'll say this. That's not just talking about somebody, you know, walking the streets, so to speak. All right? Because look, you know, these modern day women, they, 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 they hold themselves out on what? Dating sites. All right? Oh, oh, this guy's got a lot of money. Okay, he, he'll spend, you know, X amount of cash on me. Cool. Oh, I'll get, uh, I'll get this guy, you know, too. You know? Hey, one guy will, you know, will pay my, uh, uh, my rent. The next guy will pay for my nails and my hair. This guy's going to pay for my food. This guy's going to pay for my, my trips. That's a whore right there. She's using her body, okay, to get things. You got a lot of women like that. You know, hey, well, once a woman, you know, lies with a man, that man's considered her husband now. She needs to be obedient to him. And I'll say this for you sisters out there. Look, you know, if you've done these things in the past, hey, repent. And then whatever man that you're with right now, or I'll say this, if you don't have a man, as you know, as I'm speaking, you know, the next man that you're with, that's your husband. You got to stay with him and you got to be obedient and serve. You see? Hey, this is a part of the, the, the changing process. You can't, you know, do the things that these people do out here. Even if they look at you strange, who cares? Okay? Because look, I'm telling you, your family's going to look at you weird when you celebrate the Passover, the, uh, uh, the week of uh, uh, unleavened breads. They're going to look at you funny when you grow out your beard. If you're a woman, they're going to look at you odd. All right, when you, you know, try to cover up your hair, you know, wear a, a, a head wrap. You know what I'm saying? These people are going to look at you funny. So what? Because, look, we don't want to be judged with this world when, when the Lord, all right, condemns this place. Let me see if I can get that real quick. I forget how it's exactly worded. I think it's in Corinthians, if I'm not mistaken. Here we go. This is, um, I'll just get straight to the point. This is 1 Corinthians 11 and 32. But when we are judged, we are chast- chastened of the Lord, that we not be condemned with the world. You see, right now, you know, we get, you know, chastened. All right, you know, we go through hardships. There's times where, you know, brothers are ill. Okay, there's times where you're financially in a, you know, in a jam. There's times where you get kicked out of your house. Your car breaks down. You know, hey, you, you, you might get into, you know, a fight. You know, hey, stuff happens, man. You know, hey, it's happened to, you know, brothers, you know, in this faith. Cars get stolen. Okay. Houses get broken into. These things occur, you know. And that's just, you know, the Lord chastening us. Hey, we, we got to deal with, you know, our punishment. Remember, the Lord um, is still uh, 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 is one uh, uh, righteous in all his ways, okay? So whatever he's doing to you, is, um, is uh, he's justified in doing it because you sinned against him at some point. Now you're getting the punishment, okay? And that punishment really is to... Um, is to uh, 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 morally improve you, because that's what that word chastisement goes into. All right, hey, the elder Yak, hey, and the elder brother uh, um, Kapata, uh, Kapataza, um, actually were the first uh, men that I've heard bring that out about the word chastisement. And the well, one of the key definition is um, is uh, uh, um, correcting you for your moral improvement. So the Lord is trying to, you know. Uh, uh, get you on the right path, you know. He's trying to make you a, a a better man or a better woman. You see, 
All right, the Lord's doing all these things. So what? That you that that we should not be condemned with the world. Because look, when when Yahweh Hashem Yahushua comes down with that wrath, these people are about to suffer terribly. And while they're suffering, we're going to be watching, and we're going to be protected in those times. You know. Scriptures talk about how we're, what we're going to laugh at uh, famine and destruction. I think that's in Job. If I'm not mistaken, you know, we're going to be praising the Lord when all these things, you know, uh, uh, come down. Because, hey, we've been suffering, you know, right now. Have we been persecuted for righteousness sake right now? So when all this, you know, you know, comes uh, 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 to this earth, hey, we're, we're, we're going to be rejoicing because now the Lord is destroying our enemies. You see? But point being, though, is Going back to uh, uh, this lesson, you know, tying it all in. We want to make sure that what we're presenting to the Lord is uh, uh, acceptable. We will, we're hoping that our righteousness, all right, or, or, or the righteous acts that we're offering up is acceptable. All right. You know, the works that we're putting in right now, you see. But let me, um, let me go back to this. Um. It's so lucky for the little rant there. Um, let me keep reading. It says, uh, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. And look, at the end of the day, this is your reasonable service. You're supposed to be doing this anyways. As an Israelite, you're supposed to be um, following the law, statutes, and commandments. You're supposed to be that, 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 that nation of priests. You know? You see? That, that holy generation. All right. See, our, our whole um, purpose in this life is to serve Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. That's what we're supposed to be, uh, 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 what we're supposed to be doing as Israelites, and then teaching the heathens. That's actually our job. That's our our, our, our program. You know, hey, remember in a, uh, I don't know if brothers and sisters have seen the uh, movie The Matrix. It's the second one. All right, and um, I believe. Um, I forgot the character's name. I don't even think he had a name, but he was the key master. He was this little Asian guy. And, um, you know, he, he was going into that in that movie, how pretty much everybody had has like a program, a role. Okay. And he was, you know, just telling Neil, like, look, uh, my whole program, my whole purpose is to, to make this key, man, to make these keys. That's it. You know, you see? Every bro, uh, every uh, a person has a role. Every nation has a specified role. You see? Well, let's keep reading. Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed with the re renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. You see? That's important right there. You got to um, be transformed. Okay? By the renewing of your mind. That's how you transform. And you being washed with this word. Being cleansed by it. Because, hey, we, 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 <laughs> hey, you know, in a sense, we were rolling in the mud, so to speak. You know, all dirty and filthy. You know, playing in the mud, thinking it was cool, thinking it was, uh, you know, a uh, fun. But hey, you know, once you uh, get enlightened, you realize what you were doing was uh, uh, was one evil, okay? Two, you know, with with it being evil, you were committing sin, which is uh, uh, breaking the laws of the Most High, which that's offensive to the Lord, you know. And then three, these things are are, are really for your downfall, you know. Hey, it, 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 it corrupts you. And it will destroy you. Okay? You see? And now, you know, since we got this, you know, truth, you know, now we understand that, look, I need to follow the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai because that ultimately leads to life. Not not, not this way. Because this leads to uh, uh, corruption and destruction. It doesn't lead to any positive results. And you follow after Esau... It's going to lead to, to you dying. You know? You see? But let's go back to that um 
that Ciroc 35. We didn't finish it off. This is a uh, Ciroc 35 and uh, 5 now. For all these things are to be done because of the commandment. The offering of the righteous make it the altar fat. And the sweet savor, therefore, is before the Most High. The sacrifices of a just man is acceptable. And the memorial thereof shall never be forgotten. And we're hoping that the Lord doesn't forget our works, okay? And our labors, which He won't. All right, but we still have to have that mindset that it may be a possibility that He doesn't accept, you know, um, our offerings, you know? And that keeps you, you know, uh, meek and, 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 and lowly. Because you, we, I'll say this, we, we don't know if we're part of the elect. We don't have um, that golden ticket, so to speak, in our hands. And we just know, yep, uh, uh, I'm going to make it. No. And I'll say this. I've seen a lot of guys come and go, you know, over the years. You know, a lot of guys, you know, get um, weary. They get tired, faint. You know, so they drop the plow. Some other guys don't want to deal with the rebuke and reproofs. So they leave. You know. Some some guys want to you know, you know, be with their family and their friends, thinking that's gonna you know, uh, you know, solve their issues and their problems. That's gonna make them happy. No, it's not. Hey, the Lord. Hey, if you're truly a man of the Lord, hey, the Lord gave you the Comforter, which are these scriptures. It gives you the answers. And I'll say this, especially in these times. The Lord's speaking. The Lord's letting us know that. Look, what I what I uh, what I said that was going to happen is literally happening. Okay, you see, this should get you you know excited. You should be ecstatic. You should be happy. You should really uh, uh 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 you know put you to sleep, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you shouldn't be worrying. You should be like, man, the Lord's working. They're doing His great, you know, works. I can rest. You know? I don't, I, I, I shouldn't be worrying about, you know, this BS. The Lord's really fighting for me. You know? See? Let me keep reading. Verse 8, give the Lord His honor with a good eye. And diminish not the first fruits of thy hands. All right? And look, you should be, um, these offerings that you're doing should, should be uh, willingly. You shouldn't be mad like, oh boy, here we go again. I got to, you know, go out there on Saturday, waste my time. You know, I, I, I could be, you know, working. I could be with the family. I could be relaxing. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be like that. No, you should be, you know, like I said, ecstatic every Saturday. Yep, it's another Saturday. Time to go out to the preacher's word. You know, edify the you know uh, 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 the people, hey, condemn the wi uh, the wicked, and and, and, and and you know, and this you know uh, uh, and, and you know this is you know a part of my offering. Beautiful, you know what I'm saying? But you got guys out there, like I said, that they get mad that they got to do this. See, let's keep reading. It says, "And all thy uh, gifts show a cheerful countenance." See, got to be cheerful. And dedicate thy tithes with gladness. Give unto the Most High according as he hath enriched thee. And as thou hast gotten, give with a cheerful eye. And uh, I'm going to keep reading. For the Lord recompenseth and will give thee seven times as much. Alright, so you got to give according what the Lord has enriched thee with. And I'll say this. It's not necessarily substance, you know, physically speaking. Okay. Because look, every brother has different gifts and, and, and different things, right? Look, some brothers, they may not necessarily have, you know, uh, uh, resources like that, you know. They may not have a lot of money. They may not have, um, you know, a car, so on and so forth, right? But they have a lot of knowledge. So with that being said, they got to make a lot of lessons. They got to edify nonstop. That's what they have to do. Then you have a, a, another brother who may not be as deep in the scriptures, right? But the Lord has blessed him with, you know, 
uh, w- w- you know, with being financially uh, uh, good, so to speak. You know, he, he's got a little more money. Well, hey, man, you, you're going to have to help a brother out there that, <laughs> that doesn't have, you know, dough like that. Yeah, you may have to, you know, break off $1,000. Break off 100 here, 200 there. You know what I'm saying? That's what you have to do. Hey, the Lord blessed you with that, that money. Now you got to use it for righteousness. You know what I'm saying? Or you may have a brother that, you know, he's handy with, you know, uh, uh, you know, with cars or, you know, he, he he's he, you know, good with uh, uh, doing, um, you know, handyman work around the house. You may need to help a brother out, you know, maybe fix his car, you know, maybe help fix his bathroom, you know, it's, you know, his plumbing work, whatever it is, you know, hey, do these things. Okay. You see, that's what we have to do. You know, whatever the Lord gave us, hey, we, we, we got to make sure that we, hey, th- you know, that we use our talent. You know what I'm saying? All right. Use our gift that he gave us. Okay. But, um, you know, I think I, you know, hit the points. You know, I don't necessarily have to make this, uh, you know, a two hour lesson, so to speak. But, hey, you know, just be mindful of, of what you're sacrificing to the Lord. That's just something that, uh. Was on my mind since I made that statement yesterday, you know. And like I said, we don't want to be like these two thirds, right? You know, who, whose you know sacrifices are being proud, disobedient, being a murderer, an adulterer, idolater, you know, drug user, drug dealer, whore, pimp, whatever, you know. We don't we don't want to be like these people. We want to be holy. You know, we want to be meek. We want to be brotherly. All right, we 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 we, we want to really um uh um we really want to show repentance. We really want to become that new man, that new woman, that new creature, right? That's what we want to do. So our offerings are are acceptable to you. How about Shimei was shy? All right, but uh, I'm gonna end this lesson. Hopefully, you know whoever was listening was edified. And with that, I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory unto you. How about Shimei was shy? Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.